month to do a skincare segment and we have one for this month with a little twist. A local teacher has started her own skincare candle company. It's a candle that doubles as lotion and it's been one way that Pam Weaver has been able to help battle some of her skin conditions. You know this time of year Miss Pam it is so dry but you started this specifically butt naked candles to help with your eczema. You have to explain me why. Alright so my second pregnancy gave me eczema so it wasn't something that I grew up with. It was something that developed over time and I tried all the steroid creams and they worked but never really quite did the job. Natural products seemed to work better for me and so I thought you know maybe I can come up with something to help myself and I went a candle route because when you put something on your body that's warm or when you come out of a shower warm your skin pores are open so they'll absorb better and my eczema was mainly on my hands and your hands are really difficult to absorb with and so I added some oils that are good for your skin and over time this was the product that I developed. So and, you uh, actually guys if you're watching at home you put your fingers into the lit candle, obviously avoiding the flame. Avoid the flame. Avoid you the flame. Dip and then rub. Take me through this process. Did it take you a while to figure it out or was it something that, you know, you knew what worked for you so you just kind of combined it all together? I knew what worked for me and then I have a friend who literally keeps a bottle of olive oil in her bathroom and that is what she uses as a moisturizer. So olive oil was what I started with and it felt great. I couldn't really overcome an Italian kitchen smell, which is not what you always want to walk around smelling like. And so I added some different oils that are just good for your skin and they're actually all cooking oils. I just went to my kitchen cabinet and pulled out what I already knew I could eat and I could use and didn't affect my eczema. And I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it works for me and so I don't mess with it. Yeah, what, what is in the candle? So there's olive, there's canola, there's sweet germ, there's um, sunflower, there's safflower, there's castor oil because my Mimi says castor oil cures everything. And then um, vitamins A, E, and D. And then all of my scents are actually soap scents, so they're all skin safe. So this is amazing to me because you did this for yourself, but now you're giving it back to others. And when I met you the other week and you told me to put my hand in there, I, I never heard of this before. What are people's reaction when they maybe come up and see you at markets or you ask yeah, them to put their hands in the candle? They're like, they look around and go, is this, is this like a joke, you know? And then I'm like, no, seriously, put your finger in it. And then, yeah, everybody's always like, oh my God, shut up. No, really, you know, and yeah, I get it. I totally get it. Cause you don't walk around putting your fingers in candles usually. Yeah, so you're able to light this. How long does someone need it to burn before they can really get the benefits? Um, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I also put mine on warmers. And so I have them readily available anytime I need it. Um, and you can obviously just burn it like a candle and enjoy the scent, which I do. But majority of the times, the one I keep on my bedside table, I use every night. I do my hands, I do my feet to keep my heels from cracking before I go to bed. Um, now that the weather is cold again, I'll go head to toe a couple of times a week. And it just keeps my skin soft and it keeps my eczema at bay. Hands and feet every night? Every night. All right, we just put our fingers in there. Mike Dubberly, come on. <laughs> I like doing things that, you know, make okay. you uncomfortable. Right. So putting hands in fire has to be it. Put my hands in here. Don't no, what? It. What? What? Just a little dip. Dip, okay. Rub it. Rub it. All right. There's a song reference in there I would use, but I'm not gonna. That All is. All right, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, it feels great. It feels awesome. I love the way it smells. You this can even cool. do your lips. I do my lips. I do my yeah. face, my eyes. Yeah. Let me give some of this to Mickey. And quick. eczema has been at bay. It has been at bay. Yeah. That is amazing. Well, how can people find out where to buy these butt naked candles? So you can find me Facebook or Instagram at butt naked candles, all one word. The image is one of my candles. And then you can also email me butt naked candles at yahoo.com works as well. And you're still teaching. I'm still teaching. We go back Tuesday and then I do a lot of local markets. You can also find me in Hoover at the Brock Scat Brewery Market. They start back at the end of the month. I do Pepper Place about once a week. And then um, also I go to Tuscaloosa for the River Market. I love that. This is what I was telling people. To me, you always say, what's the gift that you give people that you know you think have everything? Mm -hmm. This is something, candles are a good gift as is, but this yeah. is something I really feel like is the gift that can keep on giving. It can, it really can, yeah. Oh. And you can be, you should be able to get every single drop out of that. Like I said, I put mine on warmers, and so I wipe that jar clean. Mm. 
Well, thank you thank so you. much. Thanks now the me. studio smells amazing. I know Mike and Mickey needed some help in oh, the yeah. apartment. <laughs> no doubt. But yeah, so we did that. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. Sure.